gonna be uncomfortable and yeah, extremely hot. So imagine wearing this thing for the last 20 years. <laughs> it takes its toll on the body. Yeah, get a little bit of an extra workout in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead and give me a clap. All right. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna ask that question one more time. Um, what is your name and what do you do professionally? My name is LaSalle King. I am the Chief of Police for the City of Blue Island. Been with the Chief, I've been in this position for approximately nine months now, going on a year. It's a very exciting position, and I'm looking forward to every minute of being the Chief of Police for the City of Blue Island. Perfect. Um, can I have you say, um, my name is um, LaSalle King. I'm the Chief of Police for Blue Island, and I teach classes in the Criminal Justice System program Perfect. at South Surreal okay. College. Whenever you're ready. Okay. My name is LaSalle King. I am the Chief of Police for the City of Blue Island, and I teach criminal justice classes at South Suburban College. Perfect. Thank you. That was great. What originally made you want to get into law enforcement? The reason why I wanted to get into law enforcement was I had relatives in law enforcement, and they would always tell me about the different things that happened, the different calls they had, and I've been very interested in the a career since a very young age so it was something that I wanted to pursue just to see if I could make a difference in anyone's life or community his mouth is going out of this shot oh that's okay, okay. you want me to ask that one again yeah go ahead. okay can you tell me one more time what made you want to get into law enforcement well I had family members that was in law enforcement and I don't want to sound like it's just a repeated thing that you hear all the time, but law enforcement was something that I was really interested in from a child. It was, um, I thought it, from hearing the stories from my, my relatives, I thought it was an interesting career. And it also, when I, when I got older, it also gave me the ability to see if I could make a difference in a, someone's life or community. Perfect, great answer. Uh, also, the length of your answers are perfect too. I usually tell people the shorter the answers, the better. Okay. So you're doing a great job. Uh, what are some of the tasks that you have as chief of police? Um, as I mentioned before, it's a new assignment for me, so um, I'm getting kind of like used to the different assignments and responsibilities of chief of police. I think one of the biggest responsibilities that I have now as chief of police mm -hmm. is maintaining the safety of all my officers. Currently, we have 38 full-time officers and another 14 part-time officers. Wow, I can imagine that. You've got a lot on your shoulders. Oh, yes. What have you kind of done to help prepare yourself to become the chief of police? One of the things I accomplished to prepare myself to become the chief was complete my education. I can't stress enough. When I got hired with the city of Blue Island, um, I had an associate's degree. Um, I pursued my bachelor's degree and went on to the master's program. That tremendously helped me in being selected for this assignment. By any chance, did you attend South Suburban College for your associate's degree? No, actually I was in the military and I was a way to uh, achieve my associate's degree. However, upon, while I was in high school, I came to South Suburban College and attended some college classes while I was in high school. That was many years ago, but it gave me the insight on what college was actually like when I was in high school. Um, so you, you actually, you grew up in this community, right? Yes, I did. I attended Thornton Township High School, class of 1984. At which time in 1984, I went to this actual college, which was, I think it was called Thornton um, Township College back then. Awesome. What made you want to stay in this community um, to, to, for your career? Actually, it's, that's a two-part question. Um, when I graduated from high school, I attended this school after, shortly after I joined the United States Army. I stayed in the Army active duty for approximately 12 years where I decided to go in law enforcement from the military. Um, eventually, I decided to migrate back home to this part and became a police officer with the city of Blue Island. Got it. Um, and then uh, why do you decide, or why did you decide to teach college courses um, in addition to working as chief of police? So you could say something like, in addition to working as chief of police, I also teach classes at South Suburban College. I wanted to teach classes because. Okay. In addition to being the chief of police, I wanted to teach college classes. And the main reason why I wanted to teach college classes is that it, I had so much experience and I wanted to share that experience and that knowledge with anyone who wanted to go into the criminal justice field. 
And then how long have you been teaching classes here? I know you said it wasn't long. Yes, this is actually my first semester of teaching uh, college cl classes here at South Suburban College. Perfect. Um, and what's your, what's your least favorite thing about teaching criminal justice classes at SSC? I know it's a weird question. But... I can't tell you a least favorite. You know, when you're excited about your career and you have a passion for what you do, there's no least favorite. Even the things that seem to be mundane, you'll find something good in them. So I enjoy every bit of teaching. I like to, like I mentioned, I like to share the experience that I have, the joy that I have in this job with any of my students. That's a great answer. Um, how about your um, favorite thing? What's the best thing about teaching criminal justice classes at SSC? The best thing is the class, especially when they interact, especially when you look at them and you're telling your story, you're sharing your experience with them, and they, they're they all into it, and they didn't want to take that break. They want to go on with the class. That's the best experience. Just sharing the knowledge, sharing your experience. You can't get a more rewarding, a more any other greater reward from any profession than being able to teach the profession that you uh, you have. That was a great answer. Can I have you say um, the best thing about teaching criminal justice classes at SSC is? The best thing about teaching is that you have small classes and you have the students that desire that profession. They want to learn. And when you have students that want to learn, they want to know about that profession, and you have a, a, an instructor that's passionate about that, uh, profession, you have a great environment to teach and a great environment to learn. Great answer. Um, you said that you did obtain your associate's degree before getting into the field of criminal justice. We talked about where you received that or what, what career path you went down. Um, can you briefly tell me about SSC's criminal justice system program? So, so SSC's criminal justice systems program and then you could go on with your answer. You could take your time to think about it. Yes. No worries. We could, we could, as long as it takes. SSC's criminal justice program is designed to give the students the knowledge that they need to pursue their careers in criminal justice. Cool. Um, can you say something about how it's geared towards someone looking for employment in the field of law enforcement and criminal justice? Can we make sure we include law enforcement, law enforcement in okay. there too? Yeah. Um, so can you tell me uh, about SSC's criminal justice systems program? Yes, SSC's criminal justice program is geared to give the students the experience and um, the education they need to pursue a career in the criminal justice and law enforcement field. Great answer. You're doing a great job. We're, all, we're like halfway through this already, okay. busting through. Um, why should students choose SSC's criminal justice systems program over other schools? So you could say, I would suggest for students to choose South Suburban College over other schools because? I would suggest that students choose SSC's criminal justice program over other colleges because the atmosphere here is outstanding for the criminal justice. You have great instructors with the knowledge and experience they need to pass it on to the students. Why do you think, one of the things I know that you, you keep mentioning is the experience, having that experience, right? Yes. Why is it so important that students learn from somebody who is actually working in the field? That's important because when you're in the field of law enforcement, you see and you hear it all. And that experience give you what you need to answer any question that any student might possibly want to know about the law enforcement. So they're not only getting a textbook side of the house, they're getting the experience from someone who actually then um, did the job, which is very important when they come into knowing all the facts and all the things, the negative and the positive things that you need to know about law enforcement. Awesome. You're doing a great job. You are knocking this out of the park. Great job. Um, why do you think, um, or what are some of the benefits of the criminal justice class sizes at SSC? Um, the benefits of the class sizes at South Suburban Colleges, the class sizes are small, which give um, that intimate relationship between the instructors and the students in the classroom. So if you have questions, if the students have questions, you can, uh, basically attend to and address the needs of each student because, because of the class size. You can give the students the attention they need. You can focus on the shortcomings to help them succeed in the law enforcement and criminal justice field. So pretty much they're, they're more 
they're they're a name and not a number here at yes. South Suburban, right? Um, right? You get to know them one on one. Yes, you get to know the students one on one. You get to interact with them. You get to know their true desires. What is it that they're trying to see and gain out of the law enforcement field? Can you give me an example of that? Like one of the students that you have in your class, obviously you don't have to say their name, but one of the students that you have in your class and what their goal is and how you're helping them reach that? And one of the students that um, I have to stick out is, I have a student that's actually, he's a high schooler, and one of his biggest, I would say, ambitions is to become an FBI agent. And what I admire most about this young man is, he goes to school, high school, in the daytime, and he take all of these night classes. You know, most kids wouldn't be thinking about, hey, this is my career, I gotta get uh, that head start. But this particular student, he goes to school, high school, come here, um, take a couple of classes at night just to pursue his goal. And that's what it takes, that's what uh, employees are looking for in um, possible recruits or possible employers. How does he get to do both? Like, how does he get to take high school classes and college classes at the same time? Okay, he's taking high school classes, of course, in the daytime, and he comes to night classes at night. Um, um, actually, he's in my patrol operations class, and he's doing an excellent job because he has the desire to learn about law enforcement. Okay, we need to stop. Okay. Um, this one, I'm getting a battery warning on. Okay. And it's already at 11 minutes. Okay, sounds good. Let me grab you.